Here's another one. Will it start job? Over here at my dad's place and picked this up at an auction for five dollars and ninety cents after the auction up charge. I like this guy already because he wrote instructions in magic marker. And I see something moving. So it does something. It's not fused up. <sighs> I can see one belt is off the shiv down there. Dad pointed out. And then it looks awful filthy. I think everything's here, but uh oh. Where's the hooky hook? Nothing to pull. So anyway, we're gonna tear into that first. But you can you can finger spin the engine over. And uh it does feel like there's compression because it gets harder at one spot. Anywho, I'm not gonna film that because I don't have the tripod over here, but Anyway, it's an old Montgomery Ward five horsepower tiller. Bet you it works. Bet you we'll find out here in a minute when we get a new cord put on there. Be back in a minute. You guys remember the Tootsie Roll commercial, right? How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll? Well, how many beers does it take to get to the center of a Montgomery Ward tiller? We don't know yet, but we know it takes three quarters of one in order to uh, get the recoil starter cover off. Anyway, this just was a, uh, here it is. I know you can't see anything right there. Here it is, just three bolts. One of them right there on the top, whoop. And one on each side of the bottom of the cover. Easy peasy. Anyway, the good news is the spring's not broken because it will retract when you twist it the right way, so. Again, I only got one hand and no tripod, so you don't get to watch, but we're gonna string some rope on there and tie a dowel on it or something for a handle. And then uh, we got the spark plug tester. We'll uh, see if it's actually got spark. Go from there. So the trick is, there's my piece. I gotta get a handle tied on there, but the trick is you gotta preload the spring here stuff the cord in there and get it to come out there tie a big old greasy there tie a knot in it and then let it wind the string in it that's gonna be tricky we shall see all right we're about there we got the thing wound in there and my dead fabric cobbled up handle we know it's got sharp edges but we didn't have a wooden one so we'll see how it works perfect I don't know if I can demonstrate here, but pull it out, pass it back in. That'll work for testing. All right, testing time. Got to move my beer. Get back that way just a little bit. Right there. Right there. Move my beer. Neither one of us want to be on camera because we're camera shy. But we're looking for spark right there. And we saw it's got gas in it. We're really hoping it doesn't start and chew our legs off. But here's the kill switch. Oh, how convenient that I put this right where you can't kill it. How about we go like that? All right, that's the panic button. Come on, spark. Give us spark. Yep. Saw it, huh? Yep. 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 We got spark. Good spark. Okay. So then... Give. We're gonna go find some grub and then we're gonna come back, clean the spark plug, clean the carburetor, see if she chooches the life. We have high hopes it's gonna start. So dad's in here working on the, uh, getting the pulleys on the shiv. I think it's the, the reverse belt is off, but we, that, I'm gonna check the oil too, see. Hopefully it's got some in there. And then, of course, the carburetor, I think. Not only is it filthy, but I also think it's uh, in the tank. So I don't know if I, I don't know what we're gonna do. You might just try to start it as is. Well, let's see about that. Probably what we'll do is shove a little two cycle oil down the spark plug hole See if it pops off. If it does, then we'll know it's gonna run. 
There's the spark plug. Just perfect and clean like nobody's business. It's going to be great, I'm sure. And then I'll go through the carburetor. Now I got high confidence. That's been carefully wire brushed and gapped to the nearest micron. It's going to be fine. You'll see. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'll put it back so on. Dad, take, wait a minute. Take that off. Let me... So there's the belts. Dad was working on straightening out the curve in there. But that spins one way. Here's the lever. We figured out that when you pull it up this way, there's tension on that this belt. That must be forward. And this other belt was reversed and probably didn't get used hardly at all. Maybe that's why it was kind of funny or off the pulleys. But if you pull the lever the other way and push down, it puts tension on that. So obviously, that would force the impellers down there to go the opposite direction. So that's how we figured out it works. And I think the belts are good enough that if we get the thing started, they'll operate. Okay. Okay, we got to test the spark plug itself. I have it positioned here in the most precarious way possible, so it's perfect. Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Uh -huh, oh, yeah. Good spark. Got a pull from that side. So we're going to get, we made us a fancy 50 to 1 dispenser rig to squirt a little fuel down the spark plug hole and see what she'll do. It's got crack gas in the gas tank and it smells like butt. So we know that garbage needs to be drained, which I haven't yet, but we're just going to see if it pops off. Now we got it chained down to the bucket over here. So if she decides to go bananas, uh, it's not going to run into the garage door here. So, all right. Why don't you go over here and film like about that angle. Okay. This. Let me go around. In to stop, out high. Well, that's going to be sucking from the tank anyway, but let's see what happens. So we'll be selling these on our website for $79.95. Okay. The first thing I want to do is drop this on to the floor. Uh oh, huh, that's how you do it. You you want to coat the entire engine in it first. And I don't want to be in this video, right? It's just my fingers. And there's some. Um, good enough. More than enough. Now we can let those electrocute ourselves properly. Where's the fire extinguishers around here? I got nervous. That was a lot of gas. Now we probably won't light the whole building on fire. Perfect. Ready? Come over this way so you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Cho oh, choke. <laughs> Watch out. We got a winner. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, now we got to go through the carburetor. Try engaging the drive. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. We just kind of shoved. Well, squirted fuel down the hole there. Like I said, the gas is in its junk, but there it was running, and we know it drives in that direction, so 
I believe all it needs is the carburetor cleaned at this point and fresh fuel put in it. And, uh, well, we know forward works. I don't know if reverse works, but I think it'll, I think it'll do it. That oil down there is not, can we decide, is not coming from the engine. It's because I spilled everywhere and I tried to fill it. I did check the oil. I added some. We added gear oil to the case over there. Right here. So, we got a winner. And we got a cousin. I don't know if he's watching. But, uh, he was looking for a tiller. Like I said, this one cost five bucks. We brought him another one that we got for free. The dad got it at a church. That somebody donated and they didn't want it and he fixed it up and ran for a good while but then uh we gave that one to the cousin and he was having problems with it so we were going to see if we get this one running and then we'll just go up there and give him this one and take the other one back because they're all just toys we none of us well he actually uses it i have not i just moved and i don't have a place for a garden yet but anyway blah 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 there it is it works i'll go through the carburetor and then see it running a little bit later all right, day two, back at it. Boop, well, not really day two. We just worked on it one year. Anyway, who cares? Uh, facts of the case. I know he was in here, the previous owner, and did a pretty poor job. Because this ain't the right filter to go on there. You can tell, because look at this. The foam, dirt, and air can blow right past there and go right in the tiller. Cause that sits like that, that sits like that, that goes in there, right? Well, the air comes right up through there and slides in these spots, and of course it just dumps right in the carb, so I almost guarantee you we'll find some gack in the carburetor, but anyway, we're gonna cut a new hunk of foam that will fit and take this off and clean it, check the fuel line, drain the tank and filter, and see what we got after that. So we had to come up with foam for the filter, that's what we got. Fits right in there. Whoop. This fella goes on here. This fella goes in there. So I can't do it one handed. Bada bing. There you have filter that actually now will actually work as a filter. That's left over from one of my mom's medical filters. How about that? Open cell foam worked just fine. Okay, well it's all over but the screaming now. The gaskets came off pretty much intact so that'll be relatively easy to drain. And way more fuel in there than I thought it had in there. Anyway, this must be the pulse tube from the engine to run this little fuel pump. And then here's the rest of it that I just pulled out. It pulls out pretty easy. Those three screws right there, two bolts on the engine, which one of them is in an impossible position to reach, but it's doable. And you gotta take this bingus off. But uh, not too bad. Well, there it is. We'll take that over to the bench and get it cleaned up. One of them's obviously the fuel pickup. I don't know what the other one is. Fuel pump discharge, I don't know. Anyway, we'll clean it all up and uh, see what happens. Be running. So this is what we discovered. It was difficult to get the carburetor off, cover off without uh, damaging anything, but I didn't touch that, but you can see the rubberized coating is starting to come off. So I don't know if that's gonna pump fuel or not. Obviously I don't have any replacement here. Um, it either is gonna work or not. These were pretty clogged up, the little filter screens. So they've been cleaned off and blasted with carb cleaner. And I still gotta go through the needle and uh, check it, but I don't know. I suspect it'll need this, but It'll either run or it won't, and then we'll know. Okay, so I couldn't leave well enough alone when I took the gasket off. And you can see daylight through it where the rubberized coating has come off that center. So it's not torn, but that's no bueno. So I have to see if I can get one of those. I'm going to stick it back in there. We're going to see what happens because what else are we going to do right now? But I doubt it. We shall find out. So here's where we're at. 
Again, I'm not at the normal place, so it's hard to show any of this as I, as I go. But anyway, here's the fuel tank, which is loose, except it's held by that spring down there, which you probably can't see. See the spring? Gotta get that on first. It kind of sits in there and there's one bolt on there that holds the works on. And then this little wire that I took off earlier, you gotta get squeezed back in that little tiny notch that the phone won't focus on. And then the throttle linkage has got to go in there. So all easy things, but just showing you what I'm doing. And then the carburetor will go back in. It's been cleaned as much as possible. Diaphragm, I think is shot, but I don't know. It might be okay. Maybe just what's on the surface came off, but it's not actually permeated the little fabric part. So anyway, we're putting it back together and see if it's gonna run. Fuel tank was gross. Flushed it out when it was off a bunch of times with gas. And of course the camera can't pick this up, but there's a shallow bowl right there and that's the deep well. So the long tube picks up fuel from the engine pulse and dumps it in the shallow well where the carburetor can pick it up and suck it in to use it in the engine. It's a stupid design in the sense that, in my opinion, you can't uh, can't clean out the bowl very easily without taking all this apart, taking the tank off and dumping it over. So this is one you don't want to leave fuel in it and there isn't any way to drain it. So you have to just run the thing empty. Okay, got it all back together. Air filter's on it. So the fuel system's been cleaned out. The air system's been cleaned out. It's got a pull start. Spark plug's been cleaned. Oil checked and all that, gear case oil. If that diaphragm in the carburetor is good, it shouldn't have any reason not to run. And then maybe I gotta tune that air screw because I counted on many turns. Where did that little fella go? Right there. But uh, it's about an inch and three quarter out. This is the engine cut off, by the way. So, it's either gonna start or it's not. We'll find out. You're gonna try to tip on me? So here we go. It's got the choke, choke on, full tank of gas. I gave it some gas up here. Uh-oh. Take the choke off. Shove that in and see what it'll do. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Boop. So here's a mound of dirt. I don't know if that comes out on the camera much, but it's a mound. That's left over from digging that pond a while ago, years ago. Anyway, it's too hard to scoop up with this compact tractor, so we're gonna test out ye old tiller. See if it'll chew into that dirt and soften it up so you can scoop it up. I'm gonna try it one-handed. <laughs> Oops, got my finger in front of the camera. Of course I do. Alright, one neutral. I just started it, so I don't think it needs any choke.
Can't do it one-handed. Here comes Dad, though. We'll get him, we'll, we'll film him running it. You can't win. We did redo the words on this, but anywho, I noticed that uh, in here, this is hanging out a little bit. And look in there, and I can't see the knot, the end of the recoil starter. So super easy, but I'm gonna take that right back off and put a new rope on it again. The spring's not the problem. The uh, knot just pulled out. We knew that was too small of a cord when we put it in there, but now that we know everything else works, all right, that's it. So again, thanks for watching. Cousin, if you're watching, this is gonna be on the way to your house here before spring. <laughs>